Sorry. I hope that the spirit of COVID-19 ends soon and we are in a good, healthy shape and the people that we love. During the quarantine, we spend a lot of time on smart devices. Despite the great benefit that we got from them, it ha they have uh, some negative effects. Psychological, such as stress, anxiety, depression, and physical, such as headache, eye strain, dryness of the eye, and also accommodation spasm. What does it mean accommodation? Accommodation means the ability of the eye to obtain clear vision in a various distance. Accommodation spasm, when the serial muscle contracted and cannot be relaxed. In other words, we can say sustained accommodation in absent of uh, accommodation stimulus. What can trigger the accommodation spasm? Visual overload, watching a lot of TV, playing a lot of video games, uh, or even studying for exam with bad lighting, uh, or, or bad lifestyle, such as lack of physical activity, all of these considered as a triggering factor of accommodation spasm. The causes of accommodation spasm, emotional distress, uncorrected refractive error, divergent spasm, trauma, or even using some medication. The symptoms of accommodation spasm, we can divide it into physical symptoms, such as difficult switch from far to the near, headache, eye strain, and fast fatigue. The symptoms always worsen when the patient tired or later in the day. And the behavioral symptoms, you know, see that the patient try to avoid new work, uh, uh, required a lot of breaks during his work. And the learning process of the child become slow. The sign of accommodation is spasm. The visual acuity is variable. Yani sometimes he can see this, uh, the e chart, sometimes he cannot see. The sentence where the patient say, wait, let me wipe my eyes. He, I always hear it in my clinic. You, see, you notice that the patient has unexpected high minus severe bowel, where he need only to correct very small blurt in his fidget. So we, we most of us have experienced the, the accommodation spasm. When, when we are studying for a school or college or doing research, working in a, a Excel sheet with a lot of numbers, but when the accommodation spasm become really big problem when it creates the symptoms in a daily basis. So we need to do cyclorefraction to unmask the accommodation spasm to know that the patient has accommodation spasm. So since the accommodation spasm is mostly temporarily, we need to correct the refractive error and we can prescribe fission therapy. Combining the, the eye exercise with the glasses will help to prevent the recurrent of accommodation spasm. If there is a mass, uh, marked spasm, we could use anatropy. Here is some research has been, has been done for treating uh, accommodation spasm. First research, they treated the adult onset with concomitant isotropia associated with uh, accommodation spasm for, uh, with cycloplegic for one year. They found that, that the case is resolved completely without recurrent. In another study, they've done 17 cases of accommodation spasm. They treat them with a blast lens, vision therapy, and psychological counseling but only four cases resolved completely. And in a study that has been done in 2017, they found complete resolution of the condition without recurrent, uh, similar to observation of the first study, they using cycloplegia 
but only they got to give, uh, give glasses to give comfortable working uh, vision to the patient. Here is uh, one case study. Uh, 15 years female, complaining of blurred vision for distant and near, with daily headache for eight years. The last examination, uh, she has done it in last six months, that she has only small minus uh, prescription with no significant medical history or ocular history. The visual acuity was 200, 20 over 200 for the OD and 20 over 400 in OS. When they take uh, the autofractometer for her, there is a big variation in, in, the, in the readings from minus two to plus one in the OD and minus seven to plus three in OS in the, in the sphere power. So they do for her uh, cyclo, uh, cyclo refraction. And the, the result was only she has a plus quarter sphere power. And the, the vision improved to 20 over to, uh, 30 on the OS and 20 over to 25 in OD. The treatment, they gave her homotropine one drops for the, the two or twice a day for three weeks, and they give her uh, plus two reading glasses to help her for the near work. After several follow-ups, the child was stable and thrilled with the vision they got from, uh, from, the, from the vision they got. And also they prescribed for her vision therapy. This case uh, shows the importance of drop therapy as a great tool of uh, in accommodation spasm. To conclude, accommodation spasm is very common in a primary eye clinic, especially for children and young adults. Also, it's easily misdiagnosed as a Mayo if, if there is no cyclorefraction has been done. Also, accommodation spasm triggered by a lot of new work with stress. What's, uh, how can we treat it? We treat it with plus lens, then fission therapy, and we can use psychological, uh, cycloplegic agents temporarily with, all, of course, educate the patient. At the end, I would like to give a special thanks to my one of my great teachers and one of my mentors, Dr. Khaled Jamus, uh, since I trained with him in King Abdelaziz University uh, as an intern, until now he always been there for me. So thank you, Dr. Khaled. And also thank you guys for uh, attending my uh, lecture.